Deals Gap is the most incredible road you've ever seen. 318 curves and 11 miles. There's only one intersecting road and it's a dirt road from Cades Cove and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The motorcycles come from all over the world for this road. It's known as the Dragon or the Tail of the Dragon. And when you drive it, you slay the dragon. But sometimes the dragon wins. The, the road's world famous. I see it written about all the time on the motorcycle list, and it's now become absolutely famous with the people all over the, uh, all over the world, the Miata community. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. It's like, like no other road you've ever seen. It's the best road in the entire world. You know, I think actually what they should do is they should charge admission to this road because it's like the world's largest uh, Malibu Grand Prix. Deals Gap started in 1997. It's the fault of Mary Osmar. We call her Mary of the Mountains. Well, some people call her Miata Mountain Mary. And I belong to the Carolina Miata Club out of Charlotte. I lived there in 97, and in January, we usually have our planning session. So that's when I signed up. I'd heard about Deals Gap, and I signed up and said, I'll take a group up there in August to get away from the heat. <laughs> well, as it turns out, we don't really escape the heat. It wasn't as hot as it is this weekend, and everybody who's here can understand how hot it is. I did put it on the internet, and that's why we had so many cars that first, that first year in 97. She got on the internet and told everybody that she was uh, going to have some people getting together at Deals Gap, and did anybody want to come? Well, we wound up with 42 cars. But it was a lot cooler then. We had a great time that time, and every year since then. It just grew. It became a monster. The next year, there were three times as many. We had 142 cars. Actually, Scott and Doc took it over from me in 98 because I left Charlotte and moved up to Highlands. And Kind of by default, wound up becoming the uh, chief instigator of Deals Gap uh, 98 and 99. I can't believe what it's become. I never expected it. We didn't really think about in advance, is this going to grow or is it, what's it going to happen? And all the motels around here are jam-packed. We uh, filled up this hotel. We filled up Thunderbird Hotel. We filled up several hotels in the area. What have I started? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> That's what I said to Derek, who owns the Chipoka Lodge. I said, I don't know whether you guys are ready to kiss me or whether to say, get out of here. <laughs> and then this year, uh, it's amazing. We had 354 people signed up. I don't think, uh, 354 cars. I don't think we had that many uh, show up. But now we have over 300 Miatas. Ooh, baby. <laughs> and, <laughs> They just love me here. See, we have so much fun here, and it's going to get great next year. Come. <laughs> clubs, I don't remember how many clubs. We have 28 states represented, plus New Zealand. We also have uh, several Canadians have come down. We had uh, a few last year. We have even more this year. Uh, apparently, it's a long weekend for the Canadians, so they decided to make a vacation of it. Uh, they said that their friends looked at them when they... We said they were going to Tennessee for the weekend. They thought they were nuts. But it's a great time. Wonderful. I can't say enough about it. Of course, everybody you know that doesn't have a Miata that you try to explain all this to, they just think you're crazy. <laughs> the whole point of Deals Gap was a get-together. It was kind of like a retreat. Uh, it's become more of a family reunion. It's an internet-based gathering. It's word of mouth. The only Advertising, if, if there is any advertising, is done through um, a website that Doc Wynn maintains. He's our webmaster for it. And people just 
to show up. The whole point of it, show up and drive, hang out with your friends. Last year we had a big giveaway. This year with a massive amount of people and just the fact that we wanted to kind of take it back to its grassroots that we just decided to go ahead and take it back to uh, just people getting together, having a good time. A few vendors have shown up. It, we don't stress that vendors come or not come. It's If they want to set up a table or set up a blanket, more power to you. Set up a table blanket. We have Motorsport for Miata is here doing installs over at Fontana Village. Uh, it's just uh, it's it's just amazing the amount of people that have shown up for this. People are coming from all over. People from as far away as um, Alaska, Sue Skinner and Panther show up from Alaska. We also have Mike Saint and Claire Byrne came from New Zealand. So they bought a Miata, came to the United States, picked up their Miata, and they're driving around the country for 100 days before they moved to England and they're shipping their car with them. This year we had one uninvited guest. There was a black bear that walked through the parking lot in the evening. <laughs> We, we have wild pigs, we have bears, we have mountain yeah, lions, raccoons, raccoons, and somewhere out there is Eric Rudolph. We have no idea where. We just, we just know he's out there somewhere. So. But someone claimed to have seen him in a Miata today. In a Miata, point. yeah. Went through the dragon, almost bit it, you know, broke the tires loose a little, but uh, pulled it out. It's been awesome though. Waiting for next year. That's my third year doing this. This is a, uh, it's a real gas for me because I, I like to spend a lot of money on. Uh, on uh, performance parts for my car, superchargers and sway bars and roll bars. So this, this being a free event up in the mountains, it's a, uh, it's a really good opportunity to drive some roads really hard. How about that? And uh, have a good time doing it. Like those banking turns. Good time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hello. I'm Judy. I'm from Rags. I'm having a great time. Uh, this is one of the greatest events I've ever been to. It beats Dallas by a long shot. Nobody's telling you where to go, what to do. The roads are great, people are fun, and the food is awesome. Today is Jerry's birthday. Everybody came to my birthday party. We want party. to thank everyone for coming to Jerry's birthday party. I mean, it's great. It's I throw a hell of a party, don't I?
for a tape in there. And it wants to turn off so the tape can't get damaged. There's no tape in it. I'd be better off if I had a tape in it running.
So what's uh, this going to be your prime time MTV or? Well, I don't know. It depends on who I can sell it to. <laughs> <laughs>